It's been 864 days since I booked a flight anywhere. Due to the pandemic, I've stayed home, isolated. Haven't gone anywhere. Well, maybe some places around here, but as far as leaving the country, zero. But today I am actually planning a flight outside the country. And you might say, where am I trying to go? That destination is Iceland. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses. It's not that easy. Prior to the pandemic, December 2019, it was super smooth, super easy, super accessible to just book a flight last minute and just go somewhere. But right now it is hard. It is extremely difficult to do that. Some countries are not even letting anyone into their country, like zero, zero entry. But there are some countries that are opening up their borders to foreigners. Recently, Iceland had a volcanic eruption, which is insane. I've seen, there's actually a, a live video on YouTube that's just broadcasting the volcano all day, 24 seven. For me, that's extremely exciting. It's, it's something almost like once in a lifetime experience. I am trying to research to see if it is accessible for me to get there. If it is, I am gonna try to plan ahead and figure out what I need to do in order to get there. Right now, the travel experience is so hard. I have no idea how to pretty much travel anymore. So in this video, what I want to, what I want to do is kind of like just take you through the experience of researching, booking, figuring out, figuring out what the country needs. My current situation is this. I am living in the U S and I am trying to travel to Iceland. It is May, 2021. First stage or first pillar would be to understand what I need, the country that I'm leaving the the travel portion the airline and the country of destination what are their requirements mandates rules regulations what i actually did first was i went to the booking the airline booking site and i wanted to see what kind of flights are out there currently what are the prices and what kind of layovers and what any what what is going on currently in the world of traveling of airlines the sites have changed they actually they're they're a little different now um there's a lot of covid 19 rules explanations uh notes it was actually very helpful to probably do the booking try to figure out the booking first with the airline because that took me down a rabbit hole where it led me to places that I need that I actually needed to go. So the airline, they have links to the destination uh, country, the government pages. In order to get into Iceland coming from the US, a US bound traveler needs to get a PCR test. That test needs to be negative. It needs to be within 72 hours and you are allowed to enter Iceland, but you do need to quarantine. The other option is if you are vaccinated. If you are vaccinated, you are allowed to enter the country and you do not have to quarantine. So since I am vaccinated, my option would be to present the vaccine card upon entry at the border and that would work as the kind of like key into the opening the door into the country. In theory, that's what what it says. I don't know yet. Like this is all kind of like speculation right now. As far as the airline, so the travel portion right now as it stands the airline is requesting a pcr test that is negative and it has to be within 72 hours or three days my next my next step would be to book the flight and then get a test all right i just booked the flight i literally just booked the flight it is May 6th, but it doesn't mean anything because it's kind of just like buying a ticket that really has no value yet because I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go. Basically, it's it's very, this is very frustrating. Okay, so the airline 
is requiring a PCR test and it has to be negative. It has to be negative within 72 hours or three days of me getting to the airport and then showing them the test. The, the test right now is more important than the flight ticket. So if you don't have the negative test, you can't enter the airline. The airline does have this new option where you can change your date if something were to go wrong with, with no fees. So they won't charge you anything if you change your dates. If the test is positive, I can't fly. I won't be able to present the positive test and enter the plane. They won't accept it. This is kind of like a 50-50 chance of, of getting there. So on May 19th, I have to schedule a PCR test and it has to come out negative in order for me to fulfill the flight. I also want to book a, a car or a truck that is tied to my date. And if it doesn't get fulfilled, I have to change that as well. If I do get a hotel, that also has to be changed based on what happens on the test. I don't know. I don't know. I am currently heading now to the test, the COVID-19 testing facility. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. All right, so now I'm just waiting here in the parking lot. Gotta be inside the car. Gotta wear my mask. And I'm just waiting for someone to come. I'm gonna try beeping the horn to see if I get the attention because I don't know if anybody's here. Yes. I just finished the uh, getting the COVID-19 test and I have to just wait uh, 20 minutes now in the car. Uh, they're gonna give me a call. Is it gonna be positive or is it gonna be negative? All right, I just picked up the results. Is it positive, is it negative? So the COVID-19 test came out negative. So that means that's good. Uh, present this at the airport. Uh, for me to enter the plane. So now I'm just gonna pack, uh, finish up, next stop, airport. Hi, how's it going? Hi, good. Past security here in Newark International Airport. This is gonna be my first flight. I need to lay over into Boston and then I have a layover of eight hours before I depart to Iceland. So just landed in Boston. This is gonna be my layover flight. So I'm gonna be here in Boston for eight hours until I grab my uh, second flight to Iceland. I'm actually right by the gate and it looks pretty empty right now. There's no one here. So I pretty much have the this entire terminal gate area all by myself right now. Um, just a few notes. 
one of the things I noticed that they did not ask me for the COVID-19 test. So for that flight, the first flight, uh, no COVID-19 test declaration was, uh, was asked for, so nothing. So I'm assuming it's so I'm assuming it's probably going to be for this second flight going into Iceland that they're going to ask for the COVID-19 uh, test that I did. and the boarding is at uh, 8 10 and just before that they called everyone that had a connecting flight that's about to board the Icelandic airline to go into Iceland had to go to the counter and present the vaccination card to prove vaccination So finally made it out of the airport. It took a while uh, for the whole procedure to go through. Uh, it's actually a little bit more complicated than I thought. What happens is, I guess starting right now, when you enter Iceland, you gotta go through, I think I, I had four, maybe five checkpoints where they ask you for your vaccination card then they ask you for the pre-registration form that you have to fill out before entering Iceland. And it's a barcode you get. So they check that everywhere. That barcode is like, you gotta have the barcode. Um, and then you get a piece of paper from the security checkpoint. And it tells you that if you're not vaccinated or don't have a vaccine card, you're gonna have to do a, um, quarantine up to six or eight days depending on the on your situation everyone that enters iceland if you're not a citizen or a resident from iceland everyone that enters this country you got to do a nasal and a throat test just before you exit so they won't let you out unless you do the test there's no other way out 
the test will take 24 hours. If you do, and this is the thing, it's a little confusing. If you do have the vaccine card uh, with you, if you've been vaccinated, you will get an exemption. They give you an exemption on the pa on the passport, and that gives you the right to not quarantine. That's what I've been told. So that's been the procedure right now. I was tested, and I'm I'm gonna be waiting for the results to come in within 24 hours. I'm isolated by myself, so I won't be interacting with anyone. Um, but I uh, once I get these results, if it's negative, I can continue doing what I'm doing. If it's positive, I have to re I have to contact the authorities and go back to the airport.